In the pairs competition, two other Russians must fight for gold. Their season has been filled with peril. A new country, an unfamiliar language, a car accident, a bar fight. Two-time world champions Berzhnaya and Sika Relitse blame off-ice distractions for their disastrous performances this year. Though their elegance on the ice is unparalleled, they have grown accustomed to falls and failure. With the world championship so near, they need their strongest performance this season to hold off their teammates, Petrova and Tikhanov, who have been nearly flawless all year. In the ice dancing competition, Anasina and Pazarov hope to bring the title home to France for the first time in nearly 40 years and claim the most important victory of their careers. picture-perfect capital among imperial palaces and along the banks of the Danube, the figure skating world converges here today for the prestigious European Championships. We invite you inside Vienna, not Holly, but you back home in the U.S., feel free to call it City Arena as we continue our coverage of the European Figure Skating Championships with a pair competition. The warm-up is underway, anxious moments to be sure. Hello again, everyone. I'm Robin Roberts. It's important for these skaters to turn in strong performances. Not much time left to prepare for the fast approaching world championships. As for the pairs competition, the reigning world champions continue to struggle. Berzhnaya and Sikorilitsa are in second place following the short program. Olympic silver medalist Peter Carruthers is with me. And Peter, so many storylines, so little time. Definitely true on that one. Well, it has been anything but smooth for Berzhnaya and Sikorilitsa since they moved to the United States to train. When they were in Russia, they were really used to the heavy hand of their coach, Tamara Moskvina, to make the decisions for them on and off the ice. Since moving to the States, it seems as though she's loosened the reins and she doesn't have the same control over this team the way she has in the past with other Olympic champions that have been under her supervision. And for Anton Sikorilitsa, to say the least, his conduct has derailed this team at various times throughout the season. On the other hand, you have their teammates. Petrova and Tikhanov. They are the defending European champions. They have been very consistent. They've won three Grand Prix. They remain in Russia training to throw a twist to this whole thing. Maria Petrova used to skate with Anton Sikorulitsa, whom she won two Junior World titles with. And if that's not enough for you, Robin, <laughs> both of these teams are going to skate back to back. So quite a setup. Yes, and quite a lot of drama mm -hmm. to say. Let's take a look at the standings. Petrova and Tikhanov skated their best short program of the season, finished first. They made no mistakes. As we said, their countrymen, Berzhnaya and Sikorilice, are in second. Zakorska and Shudek of Poland skated a clean program, but still just finished third. Remember, the free program is worth two-thirds of the pair's total score.